Hey guys, I'm going to take a minute to show you all uh, a couple little things on my sonar that I look for. I get a lot of questions and people want to know what I look for when I go out flathead fishing. And I just want to show you one of the spots I fish right here. It's always, not always, but generally pull some nice fish off of this spot. It's a spot I've been fishing for a while. Um, as most of y'all know, flatheads are a creature of habit. They absolutely love structure. Um, what we're coming up on here is a log jam. It's a uh, there's a couple big trees right here and a lot of scattered brush on top of it. I'll show you what I fish and how I fish it, and maybe it'll help you out. If you got a log here, a uh, root ball here, you got another log on top of it, a couple logs right here. <clears throat> And there's just a gob of scattered brush and trees and everything laying right in here. And what what I'll do when I come into a spot like this, I want to fish it. I don't always look for fish, but um, what I will do, I'll just get up in front of some of this stuff and say I, I'll fish. I want to fish all this here. So I'll get right up in front of it and I'll drop me a point on it and I'll try to get. 50 60 feet ahead of it and anchor up and cast my baits back into it and what I'll do I'll fan my baits out six seven eight baits out right in front of this big old log jam so when I got a little bit of current it'll wash that scent down through this brush and whatever's down in all these trees and stuff hopefully it'll catch the scent of the fresh bait I'm throwing out and draw them up out of it to your baits and then you catch them that way but if not sometimes you got to dig and pick and poke and you got to get right in the middle of this junk and you'll lose a lot of fish you'll get frustrated and aggravated because you lose a lot of hooks and a lot of gear but sometimes that's what it takes to pull these flyheads out of, this, out of these rivers like this that's just a little quick tip I wanted to throw out there I get a lot of questions and maybe this will help answer some of them if not let me know if anything else I can help you with and I'll try to help you. Thank you.